Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. How to see one of the most awesome wonders of the universe with the naked eye. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Whenever the constellation Orion the Hunter is mentioned, most people think of the three stars which make up his belt. But as wonderful as they are, they really can't compare in wonder to one of the most incredible cosmic objects you'll ever see with a naked eye, which masquerades as the middle star of the three stars which hang below Orion's belt and make up his sword. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for any night the next few weeks in early evening facing southeast, where you will see winter's most famous constellation, Orion the Hunter, riding low above the horizon. Three evenly spaced stars in a row mark his famous belt. Above them, two bright stars mark his shoulders, and below, two more bright stars mark his knees. But if you look carefully, just below his three belt stars, you'll see three more evenly spaced, much dimmer stars, which make up his sword. But no matter how sharp your eyesight, that middle star will always seem to look fuzzy, slightly out of focus. And that's because it's not a star at all, but something we call a nebula, a great cosmic cloud of gas and dust out of which brand new stars have recently been and are still being born. In fact, this nebula called the Orion Nebula is a stellar womb, a birthplace and nursery of stars. And incredibly, with a small inexpensive telescope, you'll actually be able to see the four recently born stars which light up this gigantic gas cloud. They are arranged in the shape of a baseball diamond and are called the trapezium. And they were born only one million years ago, which compared to our sun, which is four and a half billion years old, makes them true stellar infants. Now, although this nebula of Orion's looks tiny to the naked eye, in reality, its size is mind boggling because there are at least 1,000 unseen stars here hidden within this dense cloud. Plus, there's enough material in this humongous cloud to produce over 10,000 stars the size of our sun. Wow! And think of this. When we measure distances to the stars, we use the term light year, which is simply the number of miles light travels in a year, which is six trillion miles. The closest star to Earth other than our sun is four and a third light years away, which means it takes four and a third years for its light to reach us. The Orion Nebula, however, is so incredibly huge that we have to measure its size in light years. And it is a mind-blowing 30 light years in diameter, which means that it takes 30 years for light to travel just from one edge of it to the other. In fact, it is so huge, it would take 20,000 of our solar systems lined up end to end to reach from one edge of Orion's nebula to the other. Or to put it another way, if the distance from our Earth to the sun were only one inch, the distance across the Orion nebula would be 12 miles. Is that mind boggling or what? So get thee out to see this wonderful fuzzy middle star in the sword of Orion which astronomy writer Stephen James O'Mara says looks like angel's breath against a frosted sky. See if you don't agree. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. Thank <laughs> you.